Creating references and citations is by far the least favorite thing college students have to do when writing papers. So that's why today I want to walk you through the free reference manager, Mendeley, specifically how to download, install, and use the plugin Mendeley Cite in Microsoft Word. Now, there isn't a plugin available for Google Docs just yet, but I do have a workaround that I'm going to show you at the end of the tutorial. But for now, let's get this party started. The first thing we're going to do is open the Mendeley Reference Manager within our computer. And for this demonstration, I'm going to assume that you've used Mendeley before, so it's already set up and installed. However, if it's not, then the first, first thing you want to do is open a Google browser, go to Mendeley.com, where first you're going to create an account because you'll need it to sign into the software. Then you're going to come up to the right hand corner, select download, where you'll find the most appropriate download package for your operating system. I'm going to be using Windows for this demonstration, but mine's already installed. And by the way, if you want the entire tutorial on Mendeley specifically, be sure to check out the video linked in the description below. But now let's move on to step number two, which is going to be to download the Mendeley site plugin for Microsoft Word. And to do this, you have a few options. So one, you can head back over to Mendeley.com, select the section that says learn about citing, which will take you to the home page for downloading the citation plugin. Option two is you can use the toolbar at the top of your software, where under the drop down menu for tools, you can find the plugin download here. And then finally, option three is you can download the same plugin directly from the user interface, provided it's the first time you've used Mendeley. We're going to go ahead and click right here, which should automatically populate a web browser to the plugin download. Now it's simply a matter of following the prompts, which I've already downloaded. So you'll want to follow these on your own. But when you're finished, you should be brought to a page that looks like this. From here, we're going to open up Microsoft Word to a blank document. And since it's the first time you're using this, it's going to also bring up a document, a help document, if you will. I'm going to X out of this since that's what we're covering in this video. But OK, the last thing you need to do is you need to link your Microsoft Word account to your Mendeley software. To do this, you want to select the References tab, which you will see the Mendeley site plugin. And from here, you will be prompted to log into your Mendeley account. And we're good to go here. Although we don't have any references to work with just yet because we don't have any references in our software. So let's go ahead and add some so we can see the full power of the plugin. And remember, if you need help learning how to add references, be sure to check out the full Mendeley tutorial. But now let's head back over to Microsoft Word. And what you're going to want to do is refresh the add on where now we have our references. The first thing I want to go over are the citation settings. And so the settings is where you're going to choose the formatting standard you're using. By default, it's set to APA 7th edition. However, you're welcome to change the citation style right here. If you don't see your citation style in this list, don't worry. You have the option to add a custom style manually. But first, I recommend searching for another style in their citation library. As you can see, if you were looking for Harvard referencing style, you would have a plethora to choose from, making it very likely that you'll find the style you need. But we're going to stick with APA formatting. And so the next option you have in your settings is to change the citation language. This is pretty self-explanatory, but it's nice to know where it's at in case you do need to change the language from English. But now let's move back over to the references tab and let's practice inserting citations into our document. It's important to note that you need text within your document in order to insert citations. And so I recommend setting up your paper before you even try using the Mendeley site plugin. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a title page. I'm going to create my reference page and I'm going to start my introduction. So we have a place to put our citations. So here we go. I'm going to include the first citation after the last sentence in this paragraph. So you'll want to make sure your cursor is after the last word, but before the period. Then coming over to my list of references, let's say that this one is the citation I would like to include there. So go ahead and check the box. 
you'll be prompted to insert the citation. From here, you can make edits within the citation if you need to. Otherwise, click out of the box and it's good to go. Now let's say you've run into a situation where you're citing multiple sources at one time. You're gonna follow the same protocol. Place your cursor where you want to insert the citation, come over to your list, check the box for the citations you'd like to include. Let's say it's these two. And then simply select insert two citations. Again, you can make edits if you need to. If not, go ahead and click anywhere outside of the screen and your citation is once again good to go. Another note about editing your citations is that you have the option to edit it before you insert it. So for example, if I select this citation right here, if I double click on the preview, then it populates the citation fields where I can add more information or simply edit the information that's given. But let's go back to our reference list where I wanna talk about some easy ways to find the reference you're looking for because, well, that's quite a long list to sift through. Your first option is to search for a reference using the search bar. As you can see here, it pulls up the reference I'm looking for and I can insert it into my paper. Another way you can use the search bar is to search for a specific keyword, say a popular keyword you have, that'll pull up a list of references that have to do with, in this case, bioenergy. Another option you have for finding references is to use the drop-down menu titled All References. Here, you'll be able to sort this list by recently added, recently read, your favorites, your publications if you have any, and then you can also search for specific collections and groups if you're a part of any. Personally, I find that collections are probably the most efficient way to sort your citations. For example, if we're writing a paper about bioengineering, if I have a collection of the articles for bioengineering for this paper, then it becomes really easy to locate them. And if you're wondering how to create a collection, this happens inside the full Mendeley software. A collection is like a folder where you can assign a specific theme, a keyword. For example, right here, we have our bioengineering, and this is where I'm able to add all the references. So in the site plugin, it's simply linked to that collection. Also, notice how this reference has this marked as cited. So anytime you include a reference in your paper, it will be marked as cited. That doesn't mean you can't insert it again later on. However, it'll have that marking so it's easy to keep track of the references you have and have not used. Finally, if you can't find the citation you're looking for, there's a good chance you simply need to refresh the citation plugin from your library. So you'll wanna come up here to the right-hand side where these three dots are located, select it, and then click Update from Library. Mendeley will take a second to refresh, but then for example, we now have a new reference at the top of our bioengineering collection. But we'll go ahead and insert that citation right there. There we go. Make sure there's a space, perfect. And now let's move on to how you're going to create your bibliography or your reference list at the end of your paper. So what you wanna do is you wanna set up your reference page and then bring your cursor to the first line where your first reference should be located. Once your cursor is where it needs to be, you wanna go back to the three dots and then select insert bibliography. This is simply a memo letting you know that the bibliography is going to be inserted where your cursor is. And check it out, the four citations in our paper are included down here in our reference list. Now you may have to adjust the formatting before you turn in this paper. I recommend doing this after the entire paper is complete for the reason that Mendeley site is going to automatically update the reference list as you include more citations in your paper. So for example, let's add another citation. We'll say right here, let's find a citation we haven't used yet. It's going to insert that there, great. And now let's check. Let's go down to our bibliography and right there you can see it's been added. So because of this, my pro superstar super student tip is to go ahead and insert your bibliography as soon as you have the first citation included in your paper. This way, all you'll have to do is update the formatting right at the very end and your references will be good to go. Now, the last thing I wanna talk about is using Mendeley 
for Google Docs. And so as you're probably aware, there currently isn't a plugin available. However, there's kind of a workaround that might be helpful to you. And that is that you can simply copy and paste the full references into your reference list. The way to do this is by simply right clicking on the citation you'd like to use, copy formatted citation, and then go to the location of the reference list entry and paste it in there. What's really nice is that if you format the reference list for the hanging indent, then every time you paste a new citation, it will be formatted properly. So check it out when we add our second citation it's good to go. Now, when it comes to creating the corresponding in-text citations, you're simply gonna need to understand the basic principle of creating in-text citations. Because with these full reference list entries, you have all the information you need. Your job will simply be to format them in your paper as you write. And with that, you are officially an expert at using the Mendeley Cite plugin in Microsoft Word and kind of Google Docs. Remember, be sure to check out the full Mendeley tutorial if you want to learn all the cool things it can do and how it can make your life easier as a college student.